In this 35-minute activity and 10-minute class discussion, students create epicurves to visualize surveillance data collected by epidemiologists. They learn to interpret four types of epicurve patterns, including a propagated outbreak pattern. This activity uses data and concepts based on a novel emerging respiratory disease, or NERD. NERD is a fictional disease used for teaching purposes. Start this jigsaw activity by dividing students into home groups of four. Assign or have each group member choose one data table card on which to serve as a data expert. Also hand out a visualizing data worksheet to each student. Have students break into data expert groups so that all students that have been assigned a specific data table are working together. Within their data expert group, each student should create an epi curve using their data set in the space provided in part one of the visualizing data worksheet. Make sure that students label the x-axis and y-axis of the epicurve. If necessary, help groups in creating the appropriate scale for their data set. Have data expert groups interpret their epicurves to identify the pattern, point source, continuous common source, intermittent common source, or propagated. Students will then return to their home groups with their visualizing data worksheets. Students should continue completing the parts of this worksheet, sharing what pattern they believe their epicurve represents, and come to a consensus as a group on all four epicurve patterns. Hand out a set of scenario cards to each home group and allow time for students in each group to match each scenario with the corresponding data and epicurves that were created. Have them update their epicurve titles in part one based on the scenario on which they best match. Still in home groups, have students complete the remaining questions on the visualizing data worksheet. Spend the last 10 minutes wrapping up and reviewing how are public health data visualized. Discussion prompts are provided in the lesson plan.